Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning to all uh, East West uh, International and uh, UITM uh, student. Today our subject is uh, on business communication. And uh, it's uh, chapter 1, the introduction. So we have three learning objectives, definition, forms, channel and process, barriers of communication. So we have all these uh, things uh, just now. This uh, all thing we'll go in. The so definition. Your business success depends on your ability to communicate inside and outside your organization. Very important statement. Your business success. The success depends on your ability to communicate inside and outside your organization. Communication is the process of sending and receiving messages. Process of transferring information and meaning between sender and receivers using conversion, oral, written, virtual, and so on. So, importance of communication. Communication is important because it's about how information is sent and received within firms. This one we are talking internal. Yeah. If I am a CEO of this college, I need to communicate to my lecturers how to teach you or what to teach you and all the needs to teach. If I fail to communicate properly to my lecturers, the lecturer will teach you ineffectively or wrongly. The technique the way they teach. So, how I communicate with my lectures is very, very important. If there's a miscommunication, I, what I say mean different thing and what they're doing to teach you different thing, that is going to be trouble for you and also for us. So, that's why communication is important. I repeat again, it's important, important, important. Sometimes people, even me, when I ask my lecturers, I communicate to them what they need to do. So I want to make sure my communication, they understand. I repeat, I ask them to repeat to me one time. If I'm not comfortable, I will ask them to repeat at least three times what I said. And ask them to explain what actually I mean. Not only I said, but what I mean. If I'm satisfied, then the communication process has been done properly or understood. Otherwise, no point I communicate. If they do understand, they'll be doing the wrong things. So that's why communication from top to bottom is very very important the way information is communicated is often governed by how phones are structured so in my structure in our college structure so have a structure from me i will communicate to my academic head academic head will communicate to the lecturers lecturers will communicate to the assistant lecturers but the important thing now, whether I sit from the top, really can understand the until the bottom to the assistant lecturers to teach the student. To increase productivity. So if you communicate properly, people understand, they will increase productivity. But if the communication cannot be understood by the people down there, then you don't benefit from the increase productivity because they don't understand you they still do the wrong way they still do the wrong system and we told them how to do but they never follow focus on the resources so we communicate we tell them you focus on these resources and to produce this thing if they don't understand what you say they may use the resources for other thing then also for improve morale because if you communicate and everybody can understand the productive increase, the efficiency increase, yeah, you have more product and reduce cost. So, of course, the moral of all the 
organization working in the organization will be improved effective communication is effective when uh, as i said just now understand the message correctly what i did i asked my staff to repeat at least three times what i said and explain what they understand then you can say that is correctly and then be effective if you just instruct them they don't understand even the right they don't understand they go outside they do different thing this one i can tell you based on my 40 years experience uh, leading as a head in the, my various business i'm not talking about college only. respond to the message the way the sender wants to so i give a message to the head of my academy whether he's going to respond what i said the same thing to the lectures if he can do it or she do it then only he become effective otherwise he's wasting time so benefit stronger decision making of course faster problem solving yes they understand they can solve the problem as you instruct but if they don't understand you ask to do abc they do def how you solve the problem or they getting the problem getting the worse because they don't understand your instruction your communication they don't understand earlier warning of potential problem for sure we communicate tell them this is thing may happen yeah the student may fail i tell my lecturer the student may fail if from the start of the first lecture you never identify whether the where's the uh, good student whether it is a weak student whether it's a middle student and how to identify we tell them many ways so if they fail to uh, look into this then the problem continues what's the problem the student may have a uh, getting low marks halfway student drop out printy because they cannot follow and the teacher don't understand his problem or her problem increase productivity and lower cost yes if everybody can pass in my college show sure my productivity is better and my cost is lower right so same thing in other kind of product and services you do stronger business relationship sure if you communicate uh, effectively then you have a stronger understanding among all the staff clearer clearer and more persuasive marketing messages so you want to sell a product to your consumer if the consumer is not clear what the product you are selling and what the benefits and what are the other things that they can uh, hope to get from your product they are not going to buy your product so it's no persuasive you can't persuade them to buy your product so you must your communication must be clearer and easy to understand you don't explain complicated people just run away if you can go to a shopping complex you see how people promote some people talk too much people just pass away they don't want to listen because they're not going to listen what you're talking they just want a clearer picture what is this product you're selling and what is the benefit for them and what is the price where the price you're going to buy yeah, is worth the product you're going to sell. That's the only one you want to know. Enhance professional images for both employers and companies. Well, sure, you can see people apply PR, public relation. What is the job? To communicate. Why? To build up the image of the company or the product the company wants to sell to the consumer. So that is the benefit of communication very important part of business yeah to make uh, your message effective okay how to make your message effective? this is the way of your communication lah. Yeah. how do you make your communication effectively provide practical information as i see it's now you want to sell a product just tell the practicality of the product lah. don't uh, beat around the bush factual yeah give your product fact and fact and figure so that they can understand concise again they say it must be very brief lah. you don't have to tell long winding road story nobody have time to hear you and maybe to understand your story clear about expectation state precise responsibility as i said just now and then really what they're going to benefit from your product and services 
Pusu si, pusu other and offer recommendation. Uh, for sure, you buy you whatever you see must be pusu si lah. If you just talking like uh, no apa ni persuasion, nobody will want to buy your product. They will just listen and just walk away. Purpose of business convention, we can integrate all the major function. We are looking here business convention inside the organization. Yeah. There are two. One is business combination or whatever we talking about combination now, this subject is within the organization. The other one, within the organization and outside organization. So you are talking about it can integrate all managed function of management such as planning, leading, organization, coding. Here are combination within the organization. It's the first is within the organization. If you have effective communication, all your planning, leading, organization, coding can, can achieve the goal perfectly. If your combination within the group is not to be effective, you're not going to achieve your goals effectively. That's very straightforward. Yeah. If one pillar said go to east, the other pillar goes to west, how are you going to do it? How are you going to implement it in your organization? Because they don't understand. You say please go to east, the other pillars understand they go to west. You just imagine like yourself what will happen. You going to make it to the person said you going to east, but you go to the west. Going to happen. There's a example, a simple example. Can affect changes and also influences action within internal, external environment, external environment. So I said just now. You also not only communicate within, but also communicate outside. So if you're outside, communication also cannot be understood. Then the, there's no effective. On the product or services you can do sell. Of course, the next one is to meet organizational needs and goals. Eh? You communicate so that everybody can understand you want the product or services that the organization wants to sell or produce. Yeah? If you can understand, then you cannot meet the goals of the organization, the product and services they are providing to the customer. Okay, okay, types, types of communication. You can communicate through oral. Cakap lah, speaking, instruction, just talk. Oh, by writing. Uh, here now we have email, everything. Last time they have send letter. Now you can by email or kind of non-verbal. Non-verbal sometimes uh, through your body language we call it. Uh, also can. Technology, well, of course, now we have another part technology. You can send WhatsApp, you can send SMS. You can so many... Ni, uh, application now you can use technology on your communication but again the communication must be very clear unless you send short short message people don't understand they start interpreting their own way and then they cannot achieve the goals of the communication okay i spoken about uh, yeah, oral speaking uh, written right uh, no verbal can you see behavior or body motion i see really your body language lah yeah technology i already mentioned just now through video live video all kind of thing now simple as that it's all there okay flow communication so the communication can flow upward the uh, downward internal and external so if i say something to my boss so that my boss must understand if i say something to my lecturers my lecturer must understand if i say something to external then the external people might understand so the commission flows internal external upward downward kind of thing so communication does not flow only one direction okay that's what we're going to explain Formal ideas and information flow along the lines of command in the company organization structure versus uh, informal referred to the grapevine and encompasses communication uh, that take place outside the formal world. What is grapevine? I used to teach face-to-face -face class. I asked them grapevine. They said those wine which produce grow grape. You understand not grape? <laughs> I don't know now. You understand what is grapevine? Grapevine mean yeah, those people talking through whispering, unofficial. Yeah. Kalau bahasa Melayu dikata kabar-kabar angin, that is grapevine. 
not the wine that you 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 grow your grape to produce wine, not that one. So grape wine in Bahasa Melayu is kabar angin. Yeah. So that kabar angin is informal communication. Well, kabar angin sama true, sama not true. So doesn't mean that kabar angin you can use uh, the communication used through grape wine cannot be used. Cannot say also, but you have to be more careful because of not much of uh, proof on the information. Uh, you have to listen. Every day you got all these great wine messages all around you. In the end, sometimes you see it, it's true. Sometimes it's not true. This is what we call it. Informal communication. You just simply cannot set a sign. But you have to take note also. Yeah? This is informal communication. Okay, downward <coughs> message from individual to higher level, those from lower level. Upward, same thing like I said. Horizontal. Within one technician to another technician, within one manager to one manager, uh, that will be horizontal. Informal, grapevine is a message, you know, kabar angin. Ali said to Abu, Abu said to Mutu. Ali tells information to Abu, then Abu pass to Mutu. This type grapevine is accurate and it's one information, okay? Because I said grapevine can be true, can be inaccurate. Gossip, uh, grapevine is like gossip lah, gossip. Uh, in English called gossip. Cakap bahasa Melayu ni kabar angin lah. One person seeks out to tell everyone to the information he has obtained. This type of great one is often used when I'm using a non-job related natural conflict. Yeah? Sometime in the organization. Yeah? This gossiping lah. I think all students would like to gossip about teachers. About their boyfriend, about their girlfriend. Uh, that one we call it gossip break. Probability. Individuals are indifferent about whom they are offer information. Yes. Sometimes we want to talk to somebody about any mission, we need to be careful also. Lah. They tell people at random and those people to turn tell others at random too. Yeah. Sometimes you want to tell uh, within your sibling in a family, you want to tell your mother or something, but you're afraid to tell your father or something. You may maybe go to, to pass the, the information to your mother so that your mother can tell to your father. Ah, that thing is kind of happen happening lah. Contoh lah, but it can happen any 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 situation lah. Whether in the organization, eh, you're afraid to talk talk to your boss, but your boss is uh, got one favorite blue eye stuff in the in the organization. Maybe you tell information to the blue eye eye stuff. This blue eye stuff can talk to the boss. Something like that, you know. So it happen. So it's a probability of chain network. So you must understand how the channel of communication can go one way or another and you must understand that so that you know how to send your message through which communication channel cluster okay person convey information to few selected individual lah. this one can be like meeting lah. Uh, we had an office meeting we have a committee meeting all kind of meeting so we give the information through meeting that one simple lah. we can consider that is a cluster of meeting yeah. So those this here is the channel of communication lah. Uh, receiver, then go to noise mean here noise mean people talk lah. What what is the message? They put noise there. Uh, the message. Uh, then from that channel they go it to somebody else. Then receiver. Then they feedback. Then go back to sender. So this is the channel of communication. What is sender? Sender initiate the communication process encoding his meaning and sending. So like just now the chart, sender is the one who originate the uh, information. Encoding translate the sender idea into simple set of symbol and language expressing the emotion. So you get a message you want to send through email, you want to send through WhatsApp. So you encode it, you into writing. From the message just now, I want to send to another party in overseas. So my staff will encode it, type it, or whatever thing, and send the message to the other party. So they call it encoding. Yeah. So message is the tangible form of code symbol that intended the particular. Okay, message is the the things that you want to send, the information that you want to pass to the other party. Channel. Okay, channel is a carrier or a means for thing. Let's see. Just now, channel it through email. 
last time through post now you can send it through all the uh, application yeah uh, whatsapp lah all kind of thing receiver receiver a person a group send information receiver person who receive the information decoding the translation receive message into interpreted meaning so once you receive let's say my letter to them what mention they again decode it just now we encode it we send the message to them what i want one two three four now the other party let's say now i send to america i want to buy certain product from america so the other party when i receive my message they will decode it decode mean they try to understand what is the product that i want to buy the specification the price delivery all that kind of thing so they call it decoding from the letter i send which we encode the letter we send for the order we call it encoding feedback the process of varying message the receiver attempt to ensure that message is decode as standard really well normally we send we send to the party america then they will reply back to you feedback okay we understand you want uh, a b c d e f uh, so that is feedback that we get from the uh, follower who send the who send the message they already encode uh, decode it and they give you the feedback to us to confirm this is the message noise and internal external interference or distraction with internet message that can cause distortion of sending okay this one is between in between in between you send the message and receive back there may be misinterpretation of the message that you send and come back this why we call it noise that's why we need the feedback so to avoid this uh, misinterpretation uh, or we call it here noise on the message from one one end to another end so the feedback is very important so that you can eliminate the problem of noise which happen in between okay communication barriers you will see what we feel eh? cross culture diversity individual from different culture may encode and decode their message differently uh, so different uh, our uh, our traditional here may be from the indonesia next door also different so we say some word here may different meaning down there this is what we call it uh, cultural different same bahasa melayu but the meaning in indonesia different the meaning in malaysia different happens so if you don't understand that different language then you become various but if you can understand this word malay word means here the other same malay word means different in america uh, in indonesia uh, then you eliminate the barriers otherwise there's the barriers in communication they may have different behavior style and ways of looks looking and thing so from here maybe we, we do think we say european the european ways of doing things behavior style are different one uh, muslim fellow doing business with a uh, non muslim fellow the men want to shake hand with the woman in a uh, muslim the woman would be able to shake hand with the man so this different behavior and style may offend the people uh, the european people but this is where the communication barriers happen and we have to understand otherwise there will be a problem common problem is cross cultural communication and ethno syndrome just now i said about malaysia and indonesia lah cross cultural communication problem yeah ethno syndrome same yeah, uh, ethnic people but we have a different understanding of certain things so ethnocentrism is tendency to consider one's own culture and value of being superior to others yeah so we can see that something happened in Malaysia they said they're much better than Malaysia the Malaysian people said they are much better than Indonesia so it happens just because of miscommunication so here we call it what this this is the what you call it barrier in communication that all of this both parties need to understand so that it can smoothen the business transaction that you are looking to if you don't understand then you become your business you want to do is more will be complicated because of the communication barrier trust and credibility a very important barrier to effective communication is lack of trust between sender and receiver 
basically if there no trust between you and to send and the, and the other party you to receive this is going to be a problem this is another big barrier in communication whatever you write they never believe i say i will send you this product i will sell this product a b c d they said this fellow will never fulfill the abcd they may already give me abc so there's no trust in uh, communication then it's very difficult to do business almost you can't do the business this lack of trust can cause the receiver to look hidden meanings in the sender message sometimes people say hey what this message you send eh? must be something fishy behind it uh, always you heard people you also talking eh? what is fishy thing eh? this product we buy eh? they said this one this one can be done this one this one something not logic eh? so how are you going to buy the product you are the receiving and thinking yeah you cannot trust the product you're going to buy it can cause the sender to try and maintain the message yeah sure you try to maintain what they say but then you have the problem of communication information overload uh, can lead to failing to progress in the ring sign information sometimes i say when you sell product they keep on talking 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 uh, sometimes until the people don't understand what you talk uh, that when you call it information overload so you process you uh, failing the process in doing some actually the important information that you want to send is overload with so many things that information is the important one also does not attract the people uh, so avoid information overload processing information correctly make sure the information you tell is exactly or aptly delaying the processing of information until information is overlaid a bit so it's the same thing like above you now yeah? searching for people to help process some of the information uh, if you're no good in uh, communication then you have to employ people to do it for you that's why we call it the employee pr public relation what is the job the doing job is doing to communicate on your behalf only nothing else because they are good in the communication lowering the quality of information process so be sure that you know information that you said is not a quality the quality that so low that people sometimes you know don't appreciate what you're going to see language characteristics many words and phrases in our language are imprecise uh, even in english language one uh, word can mean, mean different meanings so it depends on the sentences you want to use so this even english language can happen you just imagine there are thousand other languages which are imprecise so you have to be very careful what language you want to do to, to tell people so that can avoid any barriers the imprecision and multiple meanings of word are one reason why jargon develop uh, sometimes you like to talk big big word uh, we call it jargon lah huh? jargon is terminology or language specific to particular profession or group so you over 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 words what you want to say you don't go to the specific so kita kata jargon so my jargon we don't understand actually what you can do what do you want actually explain to us so avoid this kind of thing because that be become barriers in your communication to the consumer on the Gender difference, this can result in breakdown and lead to distorted communication and misunderstanding within men and women. So, you want to sell product for men, make sure specific you talk about men's needs, what they want, and for women, what the women want. You start mixing both men and men, men and women to sell your product, which actually don't uh, do to their needs, then you will become problem. You must make sure for the men, you focus what you're going to sell for the men. You want to sell for the woman, you sell for the woman. Then easy to communicate what is that you need to tell them uh, on the product that you want to sell. Other factors, time pressure may cause us to focus on information that helps us to make a choice quickly. Uh, feedback may be impaired by absent or absent. So uh, normally you can see that the uh, people will give sample of their product uh, to for you to test for you to taste and so on so these are the feedback you can get to to, to promote your product 
but sometimes time pressure they you no know, time to do all this kind of thing you try to push your product and this is where the barriers in communication come because you don't have the feedback from the people what they really need on your product or the comment on your product and then you still try to sell the product to them then it'll be a problem okay in the student for summary today very simple we already explained you the definition yeah uh, communication recognize and distinguish forms of communication uh, we have many forms of communication you know, through which form yeah uh, there are many forms that you can communicate your messages you must be very careful to use the exact uh, way to to communicate to the exact people depends your knowledge their knowledge about the channel uh, we're talking about you know the channel uh, which channel you going to process and barriers in communication all we have a touch up just now on the subject so you will discuss further in the class then you can uh, also in the forum to understand more on the subject thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Ah, okay. Tanya kak, hari tu, safe-safe tu.